It is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418, and I am here with Thank God It's Finished. It's a day late, but oh well. Um, pardon my appearance. I have broken out, and there's nothing I can do about it. So if my blemishes bother you, don't watch. Or close your eyes and listen. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of things to show you, and um, I will... First, tell you a little bit about what's been going on. Mia's doing really well. Max had his puppy checkup, and the vet said he was great, which was really not a big surprise. Uh, Dewey's in my lap. Dewey's doing well. We had a little bit of a scare with Molly yesterday. She swallowed a rawhide about three inches long and about that thick hole. But we induced vomiting and got that up and... She's fine, so crisis averted, thank God. Um, and other than that, it's just been kind of busy. Not with anything in particular. Um, yeah, it's just been busy. So, what have I been working on? We'll start with finished objects. I have been super productive. Um, the first thing I finished was the owl sweater, which I'm going to insert a picture to, but I'll show it to you. There it is. You can see the owls. It fits really well. I'm really pleased with it. I literally had this much yarn left. I was very afraid I was going to run out and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I had contemplated making it short sleeve um, or three quarter sleeve, but I said, nah, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. Thank goodness I had enough. Um, a lot of people put buttons for the eyes or beads. I'm not going to do that. Um, I have a big enough problem making sure the dogs don't snag the, the yarn on sweaters that um, buttons would just be an added... I'm sorry, I'm watching the, all the dogs too. Buttons would be an added nuisance for the dogs to get into. So we'll be adding those, but I'm going to insert a picture of it on the mannequin here. The next thing I finished, was this? Yes, was the monsters for our niece for her birthday. I used Red Heart Super Saver. Oh, the owl sweater was knit out of Cascade Eco Plus. Ecological? Cascade Ecological. And I used two skeins. Um, the monsters for our niece for her birthday, Daphne and Delilah. It's a pay for a pattern by Rebecca Danger. And here they are. They're really cute. I really like how they came out. I love the teal and the um, purple, or the turquoise and the purple together. I think they complement each other nicely. Um, sorry about that. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of him hanging out like this. So... Those will be going to our niece on Tuesday when we do her cake for her birthday. Really cute. Um, the next thing I finished, I have already given away. It's the hippo that I showed you last week. And I am going to insert, sorry, I knit it out of uh, Red Heart Super Saver in the Blacklight colorway. Which I, it took me forever to get. I got some and then I was gifted some for Christmas. Sorry, there's bugs and insects and birds and everything flying around, butterflies, and I'm just like ready to duck and cover. Anyway, um, and Dewey is nesting next to me. This is going to be a, a haphazard video, I suppose. Um, anyway, I already gave it to the recipient, who is my dance teacher's grandson, because I knit her a hippo last year for her birthday, and he kidnapped it. So, I wanted to do a hostage exchange, and I, I like knitting toys, so I finished that. So here's a picture of that, and then a picture of him with it. So I will insert that here. And the last finished object I have, got a lot done this week, was, um... Oh, I didn't bring the yarn out. It's knit out of tacky yarns in the in Jackson. I don't know the colorway. I got it from Webs. 
I used just over two skeins and I will be right back. Okay, sorry, I had a puppy puppy intervention. Um, so it's knit out of Tacky Yarns, Jackson, don't know the colorway. I knit it on size seven needles because my gauge is uh I guess a little looser, I don't know. Or I just like a tighter fabric. Um and it is Hugo the Couch Potato Monster, which I made for a button monster. I see Dawn from um, the Wolf Farm podcast. I see hers in the background all the time. And I finished him today. He's really cute. He was really fun. Really straightforward knit. He's from the Big Book of Knitted Monsters. Um, at first, when I was knitting one, I thought he was going to be too small. I think he's the perfect size and I'll get to this button in a second, but I'm going to put all my knitting and my knitting buttons on here instead of on the bulletin board upstairs so that I can see them. And it, I love knitting monsters, so. Those are my finished objects. And what am I working on? The first thing I'm knitting, knitting on, so I don't think I've crocheted. I haven't crocheted in a while. I should. You saw the first finished sock yes last week, not yesterday, of Opal, and I did a little bit more on the second sock. I had hoped to have these finished, and if I hadn't um, been working on Hugo, I could have had them finished, so there's that. I, I do think they'll be done next week, and if they're not, it's not like it's really wool sock weather here in Vermont. Um, not that I'm complaining, because it's, it's, uh, we're cold long enough that it, I, I so like I cast it. on another sweater. It is the Castle Pullover. It's a paper pattern on Ravelry. And this is what it looks like. If you, there, that's a good view. That's Max trying to get a mosquito. Come on, buddy. And I'm knitting this out of Barocco Weekend. On size 7 needles. I think I go down a needle size in a little bit, too. I'm still working on... I haven't even separated for the sleeves yet. I have 15 more rows before I do that. But it's in this really nice red color. Pinkish red. It's called Wine. Well, it's called Wine on, on Ravelry. It's just a number on the ball band. And this is how much I have so far. Not too much, but I'm pleased with the progress. Um, and the Barocco Weekend is a cotton acrylic blend so it'll be good for the summer. Max is just getting into everything. My last work in progress is, I'll show you a picture again, is um, Chadwick from Rebecca Danger. It's another toy. Throw the toy along. There you go, you can see him well. And I'm knitting him out of just Red Heart. I'm not sure who this is going to be for. Probably my niece. Um, I'm, I've, oh, I'm in the middle of a row of the first part of the body. And I'm going to do every section a different color, but not in rainbow order. And then the head will be green, so it'll start and end with the green, and the limbs will be striped. On top of that, I'm also going to add these um, to various uh, sections of the body so it's a rattle. So that's all my finished objects. Up next I have a couple things. The first thing I want to do is knit Mrs. Bakery Bear. Diane from Knittables is having a knit along for her. I just think she's cute. Um, also, out of, I was inspired by Terry Tinsel, by his exes and hugs and kisses hat, but his was done in worsted weight. Um, this is a um, DK or sport weight version of it, and I'm going to knit that out of this, which I got at Web last year at the tent sale. That's all I need my iPad for. And I've also pulled out my um, Christmas balls to start working on some ornaments. And yeah. 
I hear a whole bunch of noise. Um, the last couple things I have, the first thing is Kristen um, has been growing out her hair for three years now, and she cut off 14 inches on Wednesday. So I'm going to, I, she thought I was crazy because I made her take pictures of before and after and during. Um, so I'm going to insert a picture of that here. <laughs> And we're waiting for her hair to dry. Her hair is really thick. Like, her ponytail is literally this thick around. Um, we're waiting for it to continue dry, to finish drying, complete drying. And then we're going to send it to Pantene because they make wib wigs and they give them to women who need them at no cost. We initially were going to do Locks of Love and then it was pointed out to us that while Locks of Love does give away some wigs for free, um, most recipients get them on a sliding scale, and um, we just would rather that they get them for free. So, next, I got a wonderful package in the mail this week that I wasn't even I wasn't anticipating um, from Lorna. I don't know her Ravelry name. Maybe she'll tell me it in the description below. And um, she picked up some yarn for me, which was really sweet. And. Um, first thing she got, she sent me, was this pin, which is the first one on my button monster. She also sent me this beautiful skein of hand-painted sock yarn, heritage sock yarn. And she also sent me, this has been sitting next to me, this, how cute is this sheep? He's just been sitting next to me. Um, he's going to be going upstairs to the studio to join the herd. So... Thank you so much, Lorna. I really, I love everything. I appreciate it. It was unexpected. As I told you, um, we picked up the mail and then had to run some errands, and I gave in, and I tore open the package in the car. So, um, last but not least, we have our toy along going on over in the Ravelry board. We have a chatter thread and a finished objects thread. Go check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. I will help you the best I can. Um, the best I can. That's all I can say. I, I, I can't do everything. I can't, uh, but anything I can do, I will. So I think that's all I have. Yep. 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 I will be recording next week. The week after is kind of iffy because that's dance recital week and, and I have a dance recital Friday and two on Saturday. So I don't know that that'll be feasible. Should I keep blathering or should I let you go? I think I'll let you go. So I hope you're all doing well and until next time, bye.